We have the entertaining shorts, directors, and playwrights with us this afternoon, and I'd like each of them to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about their play. So, Doug, you start. My name is Doug Lentola. My play is called Nina. It's a very short play, but a lot happens. There's life, love, death, the work of Tom Thompson, and I like to think that it moves quite well and tells, tells an interesting story. And my name is Michael Brown. I've written a romantic comedy. It's called Bed and Breakfast, and it's set in a bed and breakfast. I'm Abby Osika, and I'm directing Who's Laughing Now, a play by Linda McCready. Uh, the play is about uh, a self-absorbed, successful businesswoman um, who makes uh, a transformation in, in some comical ways uh, into a kinder, gentler person. George Marciniak and his crossroads. And in this we have absolutely everything from a devil to a dishonest carnival sideshow to a gun battle. So, and it's a serious piece, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I understand though, George, you used some personal experiences to uh, help you write the play. Yes, I did. I, I, looked, I looked into myself and I used the, my alter ego, which actually I stole from Rod Serling. That's a whole other story. And, it's a, and that helped me write the, write the play. And I think, uh, Michael, you also use some personal... That's background. right. I'd love to go to bed and breakfast. I'd love to go to somewhere theatre where they'll have a small town professional theatre coming in and you have a clash between the country people who live there and then the city slickers who show up as well. And how did the rehearsal process perhaps change, you know, the play as you were working through it? Uh, well, I found that uh, uh, there, there is a lot more comedy once the actors got, a, got up and stage uh, than I originally read in the play and uh, just like a change maybe of the odd word would give a whole new feel to uh, to a line and for the betterment. I would Who say. else discovered some kind of new creative aspects to their play as they worked through the process? Well for me the rehearsal process revealed some of the stronger points in the play that we were able to shape a bit and the actors helped a great deal in that process. And what will the audience take away from having seen the four entertaining shorts? They'll, they'll take away the idea of absolutely we have some fabulous talent here in our area and I think that is really the, most, the best part of entertaining shorts. We have great playwrights, great actors, anything else? Yes, I'd like to thank uh, Burlok for staging entertaining shorts because it gives so much opportunity for local talent to strut their stuff. Great, thanks very, very much. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.